Recording is on. Hello, everybody. My name is Rodrigo. I'm the founder of the Institute Ajogada, a institute of gameology based in Brazil. I'm showing you here one of my works. It's the board game War of Money. Uh, it's a, a implementation of the board game uh, of Ajogada using it for seeing the macroeconomic game between uh, world economies. I have here uh, 18 of the uh, world's most important economies and uh, they are, they are um, organized using this system which is um, a, a it's kind of a CD or a DVD uh, way of uh, um, building a, a system of uh, processing any type of tasks or information. And it works like a, a Kanban board with calendars and um, spaces for for doing and to do and done and but in here in the center in this circular uh, mandala shaped uh, puzzle you have the steps of a hero's journey concept and uh, you have also um, um, some some rings here layers of the system where you go from the most operational the commercial uh, layer to your uh, most strategical and existential layer which is the center of your mandala it's a purpose it's a brand and uh, using it to to talk about the the economy of a whole country you uh, have to understand that everything that the economy does is uh, building the symbolic value which is uh, the the whole um, the whole uh, accumulation of values uh, of the day's economy and it's always um, around uh, the currency of this nation. The symbolic uh, value of this currency and how it's traded for other currencies in the world. Uh, it's, it's a constant live, um, live game rolling uh, where all the commerce that nations do, all the imports and exports they are, uh, they are kind of um, uh, this game going and, and uh, the, the dice is rolling and uh, the, the results, the ranks be, being uh, built. Um, and we have here uh, some visualizations of how these ranks are built according with their um, wealth, their um, um, uh, uh, capability of, of earning uh, their, their income and, uh, and also the, um, the, the foreign currency reserves that uh, turn these nations heavy players on the game or not according on how are they are they um their hands the their how are their uh cards in their hands being used or how, what are their cards and so uh you guys can can uh, check this this board it's um, mostly in Portuguese uh, this information but it's very simple you have um, four 
phases of the, the gameplay. We have uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and 4 moments, uh, which 4 and 0 is, is the same. And you have uh, the element water contemplation, air, which is planning, uh, the, the earth, which is preparation, and uh, fire, it's the action, and you have uh, these um, kind of spinning the, the engine of uh, one nation's economy, and um, these, these uh, here you see the imports, which is what the, the nation consumes, and this is the products, the, the exports, what it produces and sells to the world, and um, the, the result, the, the score of, the, of how they evolve in this game is here is the, the, um, the surplus or not uh, on, of their exports, or it's their currency, it's the their foreign reserves and uh, how it ranks in the global um, atlas of economic complexity so uh, to explain how um, how things work you, you can see uh, you can see how uh, some nations have a more complex um, economy and exports and some other are uh, have simpler um, pack of, of exports and um, for example comparing Brazil to any North uh, Atlantic nation uh, you can see how Brazilian exports are mostly based on agribusiness, mining, and uh, fossil fuels. There are some industrial exports. Brazil is one of the four nations that builds aircraft uh, with Embraer, which is um, the, the top builder of uh, small small distances uh, planes and um, uh, but in the in the uh, in the larger view uh, Brazil mostly exports um, simpler products and and less complex um, production than it consumes it consumes a lot of industrial machinery and organic complex chemicals and other types of technological um, products and that's why Brazil ranks in the position 53 today in the global ranks of complexity but when we uh, look at a country like United States that exports lots of industrial uh, machinery and complex chemistry and vehicles, um, many um, ICT services like uh, the Google and uh, Google Ads and Facebook Ads Netflix, um, when we, we talk about uh, the exports of the European Union, we see the same thing. But the most complex country and economy on the planet is the Japan. The Japanese has uh, the top most complex economy in the world and um, it, it builds a uh, very heavy industrial machinery, robotics, vehicles, uh, electrical machinery, 
and it's one of the most industrialized nations in the planet and uh, it exports mostly uh, minerals and, and uh, energy uh, some some uh, commodities but this is what makes um, a, a country rank well in the global economy it's the knowledge it, it, it's able to to input on their work their production and we have here a very um, uh, well ranked uh, nation which is, which is uh, gaining positions every year mostly which is China um, a country that today is the top exporting uh, nation in the world has a, a production of almost three trillion dollars of exports to the rest of the world and consumes a lot of commodities and um, but it doesn't um, uh, has the same level of uh, technology and complexity that uh, Japan or even North Co or South Korea is able to 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 um, build on on their products or even uh, Taiwan one of the most complex um, com economies in the world and uh, the top exporting nation of semiconductors and this perhaps would be the um, today the most important uh, country and economy the, of the world because uh, semiconductors are are uh, necessary to ab absolutely everything today in um, Taiwan uh, has the the top uh, top um, industry in the in the role in the subject and well as you can see there are a lot of other cases we have Saudi Arabia a country that exports a monster level of uh, fossil fuels we have India very interesting country to to look at and South Africa and we can learn a lot uh, just by uh, uh, contemplating these these um, uh, these these data but well uh, what I would like to do is perhaps uh, invite other analysts and political economic analysts to to debate and to perhaps play some some dynamics around these these games perhaps uh, evolving around the leaderships uh, like the the guys were uh, running the show of the of this year of uh, what's making the economy and the prices going up uh, how are their decisions uh, balancing their cards and and their score in the game so thanks for watching this video and if you would like to have this uh, dynamic uh, being applied to your work, to your business, please make contact. I'm leaving my mail in the, the video details. So uh, thanks for watching. Until next video, I see you. Ciao, ciao.